guys it's half I am back again and this is going to be a new project uh, I wasn't going to add any new projects in and I saw this one and I kind of said when I saw it on panning and stuff's video I'll leave her link down below um, I said to her that you know if I didn't have all these other projects on the go that I would probably get involved in it and she was like oh there's still time and I thought oh Okay, so I thought I'll do it, but I'll put a slightly different take on it. Um, and all, so the project is Revenge of the Fifth. Um, there was a project just before that was May the Fourth Be With You. Or, um, it was basically based on that particular saying. Um, so it finished on the 4th of May and uh, in the nerdy world. Uh, May 5th is referred to as Revenge of the 5th and they decided that they wanted to do another seasonal type of project so uh, this project runs uh, May 5th to August 5th um, and the products that were picked needed to be kind of like space themed Star Wars themed that kind of thing um, and so what I thought I would do is use products that uh, newer to my collection or I've never really used because they're um, hidden away or I haven't just haven't put them in a project or whatever um, so a lot of them are much newer products like a couple of them are literally well one of them in particular is less than a week old um, I'm not intending to really finish anything in particular um, I just want to use some of these things that are in my collection that kind of like just get ignored because of all of the other stuff that I'm using um, and a lot of it's like really fun type stuff so it'll make a nice change so it's not for me so much about using stuff up as uh, having a bit of play amongst all of the other stuff that I'm actually doing so the five products that I have picked. The first one is out of the Kat Von D Metal Matte palette, which you would have seen in a haul that I did. Um, if you didn't know, it kind of, it's, it's like really, really cool. This is a really cool palette. Um, <laughs> the uh, shadow that I am going to pl be playing with is this one here which is called Nebula it is a very nice blue super duper bright blue I'm actually wearing it in my crease and outer corner uh, today so that there is Nebula so it is like super duper pigmented you really don't need a lot I can wipe off my finger because just that little swipe on the swatch super pigmented the next one I am going to play around with is from NYX in their suede uh, liquid suede line this one is Alien it's what I'm wearing on the outside of my lips today It is a super dark grey lipstick. Super fun to wear. The next one is one of my newest purchases. Um, I haven't actually done the haul for it yet, but I will be doing that so that'll be up soon too. This is from NYX Cosmic Metals line. This one is called Asteroid Aura. I thought that was a good name and I'm wearing that sort of like on the centre today and that is it right there it's kind of a really nice purple with a goldy kind of shift to it super decent and they're like they're really light on the lips they don't feel hugely globby or anything so yeah, I had a little bit of play with sort of like an ombre type of lip. Uh, the next one is actually a really old product. 
um, and I only put it in because of its name. This is an Avon Glimmer Stick. This one is in Cosmic Brown. I used to use this all the time. I haven't used it in ages. So that is Cosmic Brown there. It's just a brown. Just a super simple brown. And I have that much of it. So I will mark that later. See if I can't get some progress on that one, at, at least. And the last one is kind of a whole palette. Um, I just want to play around with this palette. Um, and you, you'll see why in a minute. Uh, about two years ago now, I went to the first uh, makeup con type thing that was in Adelaide. And um, I haven't had one since that I'm aware of. Um, but I bought a whole bunch of stuff there that I probably would never have bought anywhere any other time. And one of them was this palette from Makeup Studio. Um, and I'd never heard of them before. But their eyeshadows are like really, really interesting. And they have these ones, I think these are the Moon Dust ones or the um, Lumiere ones. Um, but this is what they look like. Now, if anything ever looked like planets, it's these eyeshadows. They're actually domed. They're, they're baked eyeshadows. This colour here is actually what is on my lids today. I believe this is called Skydive. Um, I don't actually have their name, so I had to kind of have to go and look online. And it's a little hard to pick. Their website doesn't have the best pictures. Um, this one here, I believe it's called Aquamarine Glitter. This one here is Amazing Blue, which is kind of what I've got blended out underneath my eye with a blue liner. This one here is Golden Sphere. This one here is Tempting Torp. This is probably the one I'm going to focus on the most because it goes really well with Nebula. Um, but basically I just want to play with this planety type palette and have a bit of fun because I've had it for a while and I haven't really touched it very much and they are so skydive aquamarine amazing blue golden sphere let's wipe off my finger again they're like actually pretty pigmented um, they're also a little powdery even though they're a baked eyeshadow which is kind of surprising really and tempting top so you know it's a very um, blue <laughs> kind of palette um, but we are coming into winter here in Australia so not necessarily a bad thing. Um, yeah, so uh, I will attempt to update this around about the 5th of the month every month. Um, between now and August. Which is not that long, so I'm not really expecting to make huge progress in any of these particular products. Um, but, you know, it's just nice to have a project which is more just for a bit of fun. Because um, I do actually have two fairly large projects on the go at the moment um so yeah just give myself a bit of fun um so i will leave the people that i am aware of who are doing this linked down below um there are a few of them um most of whom i don't actually know like they're new people to me so i will link them all down below if you want to jump in and have a bit of fun as well then especially if you're a bit of a nerd um yeah so this has been my intro for my revenge of the fifth project pan collaboration if you want to subscribe click the button down there leave me a thumbs up if you like panning type videos and collab type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya